Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back it again for yet another DC Multiverse news update. We got lots to talk about today. These were figures that were revealed, but there's a lot of spice happening here. And the pre-orders are finally live, so you will find those down in the description below. I gotta tell you though, the promotional photos for bringing these out, first showing us, giving us all the deets. Those were taken by A underscore Aesthetic One. He is the famed toy photographer for McFarland Toys. Go and support him. Let's get him a going because he does amazing work. And it's just that much special if you're a DC multiverse collector and you see your figures looking as good as he makes them look. So please go and check him out. McFarland Toys, take good care of this guy. Come on. He's really bringing some oomph to your products. But anyways, we got a great line to talk about, and as always, like I said, if you are interested in anything you see here, I will have affiliate links down in the description below. The usuals, you get the idea. Thanks so much for using my links. It helps the channel to grow. Now, first and foremost, we got a Batman, and this is, and I'm just gonna point this out, when you see these leaks and you see certain names and then other people go, well, uh, here, uh, leaked list, it's the Troika suit. No, you have to wait until McFarlane Toys or whomever reveals their official products because then you get misinformation like that. A lot of people were messaging me, well, I thought it was supposed to be Troika. No one actually said that. Well, some people said that, but it's not the truth. This is supposed to be more in line with the Grant Morrison run, even though I will say with the costume they've selected, the colors they've gone with, it's not really. In fact, I would say the Spawn versus Batman set, that is a lot more of this Grant Morrison run Batman than this. This, to me, looks like the Three Jokers Batman, and it's Batman Returns, Batman 89. That's really what I'm seeing here. Is it a Batman that I would absolutely need if it wasn't for this Build-A-Figure? No. To tell you honestly, I really have no interest in this outside of getting the parts and pieces to make the awesome Build-A-Figure. But regardless, if you need this Batman, here he is, comes with one grapnel accessory we've seen before, and then you can probably tell who the Build-A-Figure is at this point. <laughs> here he is all packaged up, ready to go. Like I said, if you need this Batman, you can pre-order him now. But Batman's aside, we got a brand new Aquaman to talk about, and he's been freshly chowed down on by a bunch of piranhas or he cut it off himself like in the old justice league cartoon whichever you want to go with it making no sense anyways but it is cool as heck and yes aquaman with the hook hand looks awesome pretty darn spot on to the source material if i do says so's myself he's got the silver harness he's got the long hair he's got those green and black sweatpant wetsuit dealios with the fin yeah, it, it just looks really awesome. Very excited, if you couldn't tell, about this 90s Aquaman. He comes with the arms of the Build-A-Figure and just to stand. A few more accessories would always be welcomed in the box. These are 25 bucks, just keep that in mind. He is definitely looking a little sparse in the box. I guess all that blue around him is supposed to be water, of course. <laughs> oh, and I wouldn't be surprised if this Aquaman possibly got a platinum edition just throwing that out there keep that in mind when you're out looking for these figures next up we have john stewart green lantern with the white gloves i totally dig that look for him keep in mind a lot of people have been saying well isn't this supposed to be like the more grant morrison run of the comics during this time period yes but then john stewart was in there kind of sorta and also keep in mind we are getting kyle rayner with the upcoming kilowog two pack we don't need another Kyle Rayner. Let's get Jon Stewart. If they want to gonna go this way, that way, I'm totally down for it. I really like the look of this Jon Stewart, and I really like the look of his head portraits. That really came out great. It's more along the lines of the Kyle Rayner Green Lantern body, more of that knitted sort of style look for the Green Lantern suit, which is fine. If you're gonna texture the heck out of it, it's fine. Go for it. He comes with the legs of the Build-A-Figure and a couple Green Lantern accessories. And again, just to point this out, I would not be surprised, wink wink, if this figure got a Platinum Edition. So keep an eye out for that. I'll have more news on that later. But for now, just as a heads up. In the meantime, if you want to the Green Lantern John Stewart's 
you can pre-order him now. We got the electric blue Superman. When I first saw this, thought it was the dumbest thing ever. Now that 90s nostalgia has caught up with me once again, and it looks pretty good. Also, just as a heads up, I would not be surprised <laughs> if we saw a platinum edition for this electric blue Superman. In fact, if you remember when the Schusters and everybody was fighting over the rights of Superman, they had to do this. They split him off into a blue and a red wink, wink. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> I like what they did here with this Superman. For the most part, I think that this works really well. He looks to have the diaper, but in hand, hopefully just looks better. Also, he has the cuffs. That's the only thing that can really draw out that I would go, ah, I got to nitpick the heck out of that. It just wish it was more flush. That's all I'm going to say. However, with the electrical effects, with the sheer just ridiculousness of this costume and what Superman became around this time period, it's ridiculously awesome comes with those effects comes with the body of the build a figure superman blue electric boogaloo looks pretty darn cool which leaves us with the build a figure eel o'brien the plastic man and this is without a doubt the best looking figure in terms of the entire wave of course he's the build a figure i know i see your guys's comments why do we have to get this build a figure why can't we just get him as a separate piece that's just how it goes with Build-A-Figures. That's what you do. At least it's not seven, well, six figures to get one arm and a head, and then you got to do all that. It's four, and you're done in one go. Plastic Man looks awesome. He really does. I like all the extra parts and pieces to give him his stretchy, plasticky parts. I'm glad that they threw that in there. It's a deluxe figure through and through. You know how much you'd pay with other companies for this guy. You get four figures and a build a figure for a hundred bucks. That's what I'm saying. So the colors, the look, the head portraits, they absolutely nailed it. I am very excited to get Plastic Man for the DC Multiverse. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Plastic Man build a figure wave, Batman, John Stewart, Aquaman, Electric Blue, Superman, and Eel O'Brien. Looks pretty solid except for the Batman. I just am not not happy with the Batman. It's not that I'm not happy. It's just like, ugh, it does nothing for me in that sense. But as I said, if you're interested in any of these figures, you could pre-order them down below with the links. And as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Justice League and Plastic Man and all that jazz. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, it's been DC Multiverse Overload lately. Thanks for sticking around on the channel and watching. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.